um, I said this book should come with warning labels. I would not recommend this to friends who have kids. It's really, it could really mess you up. I know, I'm probably making you more curious, but don't, don't say I did not warn you. Hi everyone, this is Paul Loves to Read, and as you know in this channel, it's all about spreading the love and joy for literature, and we hope our little channel helps you find the right book for you. And today, I'm going to share with you this, this heavy book. Um, it's called Pen Pal, published in 2012. I read it in the ebook, e-reader. Um, the author is Dathan Orbach. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce his name. It's a horror book. I consider it as a horror book. It's a true crime-ish um, genre of a book. But it's not, ano ah, it's not non-fiction. It's fiction. Pero yung theme niya, it follows, it feels like a true crime book. And it's, I consider it horror because it's horrifying. I decided to read this because I know this book has a cult following. And I'm curious about it. And it is also a horror book recommended by one of the influencers that I follow. I follow all her books. This book is about a pen pal. This book is about a kid, actually. He starts, the story starts off with our protagonist at five years old, I think. Ganyan, oh, five years old. And he is, it's a first person perspective and he writes it as if um, he's recalling memories from his childhood, right? And the story covers from his, from him being five years old up to 13 yata, 13 maximum. And yung period na yon, that period of time is that is when, you know, th that's the story that he's going to tell us in fragments. And it's about a pen pal that goes wrong. This this novel um, is started off as a post, a series of posts in creepy pasta, right? Uh, and I believe it garnered a lot of following, and so he decided to post it as a novel or to release a novel in 2012. But yes, this is. A self-published horror slash thriller creepy pasta novel. So in that sense, you kind of that should already tell you something. <laughs> if you know creepy pasta, then you know what I'm talking about when I say horror. Okay. If you don't know creepy pasta, um, maybe you should look it up. Right. Just to get the feel of what is this really? Um, yeah. So it's it's horror, definitely horror, definitely thriller. Something that's unique. Something that's creepy, that something that that is almost taboo. Creepy pasta is one of the first in the early internet age, so it's one of those you know the corners of the internet where you find stuff. My reaction to the book: when I finished the book, it just completely, completely just, just eviscerated my heart. I just, it's one of those things that, you know, when you watch something and somebody. <laughs> And, and somebody, when you watch something in the movies or in TV series and then somebody approaches the, the actor, the protagonist, that somebody died and you just want to f fall down on your knees, it's that. It's like that. The ending is like that. It's just completely eviscerated me. And it just, it's heavy. I don't know if, okay, don't get me wrong. It is a good book, okay? It's a good book. To elicit that kind of emotion and to elicit that kind of reaction from a reader tells you that it is brilliantly, deftly written, right? That tells you that if, you, if a book can make you react that way, can make you feel that way, it means he got me invested from first to last. It means he got me, you know, he, I was there with him all the way. So it's a good book, okay? Technically, it's a good book. But in terms of recommending this, I don't... No, because it is that good. So, I meaning to say, I don't know if I would want anybody to go through that emotion that I did. It is incredibly, extremely disturbing. Okay, hey, and creepy pasta. Hello. So it is, <laughs> it is extremely disturbing topic. I would not recommend this to friends who have kids. It's really, it could really mess you up. This one of the posts that I, the, one of my posts. Um, I said, this book should come with warning labels. I know, I'm probably making you more curious, but don't, don't say I did not warn you. I think it would mess you up. I think it, it's, you know, it's kind of like something na, na, 
I don't know. Baka naman, okay, okay, I'm gonna stop right there because maybe I'm hyping it too much and maybe if you decide to read this, I'm just telling you my experience of the book. I downloaded it first as a sample and then, and then downloaded the whole thing. Yeah. Like I said, it's a good book. Technically, it's brilliantly written. It's well written. Um, it, the flow of the story is just right. Right from a storytelling perspective, it gives you enough to get you to the next stage until everything falls apart, and then it's the end, and it's amazing that way. Um, but yeah, so pen pal, pen pal gone wrong. Basically, pen pal slash stalker slash true crime feel, very horror horrifying book. There you have it. So if you think you have the guts for this type of book, have at it. Let me know. Let me know. I'm really curious. Thank you.